Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a singles reading for fire signs. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is for the next seven days. So from the time you watch it, seven days out. Um, this is for if you are completely single, and this is if you are completely single. Okay, you're single. Um, we're just going to see what it comes up. We're going to get one of these, then we're going to use these. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, singles. What do we have for the week ahead? Singles. <clears throat> Communication issues. I have had no throat problems at all. All of a sudden, my throat just started to swell up. So there's communication issues. Breathing problems, perhaps. I don't know. That was weird. Or you may have to clear the air with somebody. Intuition. Your intuition is leading the way. This is a high priestess. You have the inner knowledge to make any decision that you need to make. Trust yourself. Believe in yourself. If you need an answer to something, be silent. Sit in silence. With no music. And be silent. And the answer will come. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, week ahead, singles. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, week ahead, singles. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, week ahead, singles. Oh, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Somebody's not happy. Somebody's not happy. This is a suspicious person, very suspicious, jealous, interesting. Unrealistic. Mm. Woo. Something is not all as it seems, something is hidden. Something is hidden. Yes, it is. Moon card. Something's happening and you don't know what it is. You may, you're may you not seeing it clearly. You know, my little shadow thing. It's a shadow. You see the shadows? See if I can make something. What is it on this card? You know, I can make like it. If you look at the shadow, what's it look like? I mean, it can look like all kinds of things. Anyway, it's really my hand. This is the shadow. Be careful. What you see is not what you get. It looks as though there's some sort of mask, okay? Somebody is wearing a mask. Could be You could be dealing, I don't know, with Pisces or, or Cancer. Um, it looks like you're about to start in a new direction. You're, you're, on, you're, begin, you're at the beginning. You are at the very, very beginning. And you're a little bit trapped. And this could be fear. You're trapped in your fear. You're not seeing things clearly. That's what this is. Some, it's not what you think it is. You think something is going to be much worse than it is. Interesting. This is, this is crying over spilled milk. regrets there's no need to cry over that anymore there isn't there's no need there's no need to cry over what happened look at it as if you know you're starting at zero you're starting with a clean slate you've got a clean slate judgment what's this this is judgment call this is truth this is karma this time 
It's time to forgive yourself. It's time for forgiveness. It's time for rebirth. It's time for resurrection. It's time to live again, right? Right, it's time to start over. It is time to start over. You need to let go of your jealousy issues, let go of your possessiveness. Maybe you are, are too focused on your money. The Queen of Pentacles is a person that is too focused on their money, their finances, everything but love to see that it's not even about that. You could be dealing with a woman who is, I don't know if this is a mother or a wife. Well, if you're single, then you wouldn't be watching. Then if, whatever, this is for singles. This is a person that is very focused on monetary gain. And maybe you were involved with somebody who was and now you need to realize that it wasn't in your best interest to be with that person anyway. Maybe you got to forgive that person. I don't know. This is making a decision. Woo! Uh-oh. Yeah, so you guys are not probably going to be putting in any effort into new love. I mean, the Eight of, eight of uh, Pentacles... <laughs> Eight of Pentacles reversed, not putting in any effort. Into love, the Ace of Cups reversed. I think you're giving up on love at this point. Because it's like, I think there's some bitterness, there's some resent. Maybe you're feeling like, I, I got to be alone. This is the independent woman. I, and she's kind of like bitterly independent. I just need to be alone. I Man or woman, I need to be alone right now. Because I'm going through an awakening. This is awakening. I'm, I'm, I'm becoming alive again. I'm going through a rebirth. I'm going through a resurrection, whatever. This is... Um, You guys are, I don't see that you guys are allowing any love into your life. I can't, I can't make this up. I can't change it. You're working on your self. This is spiritual self. The high priestess is spiritual self. You're working on your divine self right now. And you know, the high priestess, she does it in silence. Remember I said about silence? She regains her, herself through silence. Alone, alone, and this is alone, and I feel like, and this is taking a journey alone. So I think that you guys are starting at zero, and you're doing it alone right now. Because I feel like right now you are still kind of trapped in your own negative thoughts, and you're, you're maybe a little scared of the unknown. You may be not seeing that fears are really what is holding you back fears is i can see fears here these are there's fears fears are holding you back from love right now they are they are you need to make a decision to stop crying over the past stop letting that hold you back Stop, let go of the regrets because you have an opportunity to start over someplace else even. I mean, this is going on a new journey by yourself, free-spirited, not taking the past with you. All he's bringing is what's in that bag. Nothing else. Nothing else. The money doesn't matter anymore. So I feel as though you are probably not accepting any love offers because you're, you're going through some sort of release, okay, with the judgment card. And you're not ready to... Let your guard down. Doesn't look like you're ready to let your guard down or let anybody in. I mean, there's there's loneliness. There's there is. It's like I want I need to be alone right now. So 
Is there new love coming in, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius? No, no. Earth signs kind of got this too. So it's like, no, no, I can't put an effort into that right now because there's a cycle that is ending in my life or it has just ended and I'm still a little trapped there. I'm still a little, I'm still, I'm still, I still am. I'm still trapped in limbo. Okay. Whew. Wow. Wow. So you, yeah, it's like, no, no, my wish fulfillment is finding my abundance again. It's not logical for me to ask for anything more. I can't ask for anything more when I'm so upset. Of, oh, you know, this is very upset. Bitter, it is. It is. It's not logical. It's like, I think that you guys are probably very conflicted at this time and you have this idea or thought that you have to do some, this certain thing first. I got to get this done. I have to get this done before I get into any kind of relationship. I don't know what it is. It could be anything. It's like you have a different motive. You have a different idea. It's like I have a different um, idea. Okay. You're thinking something. You're thinking something that is, that needs to be dealt with. It does. You still need to break free because you think about this. This is the Eight of Swords. With this one sword, it's the Nine of Swords. You know, there's still some sort of anxiety and depression that needs to be dealt with. It's keeping you stuck. It's keeping you trapped. It's like you can't see things clearly. You can't. The, the blindfold's on here, and this is you're not seeing something clearly because you're still observing what has happened in the past. So, no. There's a lack of, of, of healing at this point. It's not that you're not. You've made a lot of progress. You have. But it, there, it's like it's not logical. And you know that you you couldn't open your heart. It's like I, there's these people can't open their heart right now. They're not invested in that. Now a lot of people are like, yes, I can. Yes, I can. There's a lot of anger and bitterness here. And you can say it's the other person, but one of these people is you. One of these people is you. It is. This is a message people don't want to hear. Period. You're starting at zero. And when you're at zero, when you're at zero, when you're at the very beginning again, I mean at zero, you don't just jump right into a relationship. I feel, and that's the, that's the, that's the truth. You don't. I feel like you are starting at the very beginning. You are on the path. You are on a new path. You're on a completely new path. Your intuition is guiding the way. And it is guiding you in the right direction. But finding wish fulfillment in love is probably not at the top of the list. There's a lot of loneliness here. I'm sorry. There is. There is. Because somebody's not ready to open their heart. They're not. They're not ready to open your heart. And if you and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It 
doesn't mean somebody's not interested because probably somebody is. Somebody probably is interested in you. And maybe you know that somebody is interested in you. You know something. You know quite a bit. Anyway, somebody's probably, you, maybe you're just too, too scared. You're too scared to put in any effort because what the hell are they hiding? What if I do put in effort? What are they hiding from me? Your intuition knows. Anyway, you guys are in the process of forgiving, releasing, waking up. Now, there could be some sort of secret that gets revealed with both of these cards that gives you the clarity that you've been seeking. Okay? So if you are questioning somebody's motives, which you could have somebody coming into your life that does have ulterior motives. I mean, hey, keep that in mind. You could be dealing with somebody who is just going to hurt you and they really don't care. Maybe you know that. So you're like, damn. Or maybe that's just your fear. That could just be your fear, too. That could be happening or it could just be your fear because I see the fear of love. Fear of being stabbed. Fear of being taken advantage of. Are you misjudging? Are you? Are you judging the situation correctly? That is the question. Your intuition knows the answer. Follow it. Listen. In silence. Not with the TV on. Not with the music on. You get your messages through silence. That's how the high priestess gets her messages. Complete silence. So I can I see that you guys are headed in a new direction by yourself and I don't feel like love is a factor this week. Somebody may be trying to communicate with you, somebody could be watching you, somebody could be interested in you. You know, they may be uh trying to get you to open your heart or something like that and you're just like not interested at all. Or there may not be any communication coming through from anybody because you're not interested. If you put out the vibration, your, your vibration is being sent out to the universe at all times, okay? It is. If you put out that vibration that you are trapped and you are stuck and you are scared and that you don't want love, that's what you're manifesting. If you're down in the dumps and you're bitter and resentful, that's what they hear. And I'm not judging you. You may think that I'm judging you, but I'm not. I'm not saying that you're bitter and I'm bitter and resentful, okay? Who would I be to judge you? Somebody in this reading is bitter and resentful. Spiteful. And they still got some healing to do. And it could be a man or a woman. So that they can drop this baggage and not take them with take it with them in the future. It's not coming anyway. It's going to be released. And that's what's happening now. You're in the process of releasing this baggage that is holding you back from love so is new love coming in nope don't see it don't see it but you're single I don't see it I'm sorry I don't I feel like you could be dealing with somebody who may want you to yeah could be a, a Libra Gemini or Aquarius could be Taurus Virgo Capricorn could be Scorpio Whoever it is, could be Pisces, could be Cancer. Whoever this person is, they may be a little immature. And they may overstep their boundaries with you. And you may not want to put in any effort with this person. It's like, no. Nope. 
I don't see it. I'm sorry. This is a no. Big fat no. That's what I see for this week, fire signs. I'm sorry. But I'm not going to pretty it up and pretend that this is all butterflies and uh, roses and whatever. It's not. The fact of the matter is, is you guys are going through a, a, a release. That's what judgment is. Forgiveness and release. And you're starting at zero. And that doesn't... In zero, it's not a two. It's a zero. You know? A two would be two people. It's a zero. Going on my own right now. Good luck.